From the minute she was born, actress, activist, and fitness fanatic Jane Fonda was destined for greatness. In fact, she was named after Jane Seymour, the beloved third wife of English King Henry VIII. It seems, however, she was also set to experience great tragedy. From her mother dying on the dawn of her teenage years to a gambling addiction and struggles with relationships and motherhood, Fonda's life was as much filled with tragedy as it now is with success. Want to walk in the shoes of the iconic Jane Fonda? Watch this video to the end to experience her roller coaster like life. Jane Fonda experienced death at a young age. Fonda's early years were marred by trouble. Fonda's mother, the beautiful socialite Frances Ford Seymour, married her famous actor father, Henry Fonda, in the 1930s. Their marriage, Henry would later admit, was a difficult one. Seymour suffered from what is now thought to be bipolar disorder. She was frequently institutionalized, which left Jane Fonda feeling abandoned and unloved. In 1950, when Fonda was 12 and her brother Peter was 10, her mother committed suicide. Their father told them she died of a heart attack. Shockingly, the siblings only discovered the truth many years later after reading it in a magazine. For a long time, Fonda struggled to forgive her mother. As a child, she even blamed herself for her mother's death. Today, after a life long lived, she says she's been able to empathize with her struggles. Jane didn't get along with her father. At the time of her mother's death, Fonda's father had already risen to stardom. Following his success on Broadway, he transitioned to leading movie roles. He was most famous for playing the part of an upstanding American man. At home, that couldn't be further from the truth. He was cold and distant with his distraught children, and he even married again mere months after their mother's death. Henry was very critical of Jane's appearance. He often told her she needed to lose weight, which she believes led her to develop an eating disorder. When she fractured her spine, she walked around in severe pain for weeks until she worked up the courage to ask him for help. Thinking her father thought she was frivolous and foolish, she longed for his love. Jane Fonda struggled with an eating disorder for decades. Fonda spent her high school years at the Emma Willard Boarding School for Girls. Though the school was strict, Fonda remembers her time there fondly. It was the greatest gift my father could have given me, she says. Despite this, she also blames her years at boarding school for her spiral into a lifelong battle with bulimia. Though the seeds were sown by her father, who, according to what Fonda wrote in her autobiography, was obsessed with skinny women. After a lifetime of being told to lose weight for roles and jumping in and out of inappropriate relationships, Fonda finally started to take control of the disease at age 46. With the help of belief in a higher power, her own famous fitness workouts, and Prozac. Her first husband was a true rogue. Did you know Jane is a college dropout? She gave up on her degree at Vassar in 1958 and moved to New York to attend the famous actor's studio. She worked on Broadway and appeared in a few forgettable movies before upping and moving to France. It turned out the French adored her, and she quickly became a household name. It was there she met her first husband, French-Russian filmmaker Roger Vadim. Fonda quickly fell for Vadim's passionate, romantic outlook, a life that was a world away from her strict, loveless childhood. They married in 1965. Unfortunately for Fonda, the sheen of new marriage wore off quickly. Vadim would constantly ask her for money, and she had to dip into her inheritance. Fonda later found out her husband used the money to pay off gambling debts. Vadim had an insatiable appetite for attractive young women and insisted on an open marriage. He would often bring home dates, much to Fonda's dismay. In the late 60s, Jane became interested in political activism. Vadim didn't share her enthusiasm for social causes. Despite the couple having a child together, who they named Vanessa Vadim, they split in 1973. Jane wasn't always a proud feminist. Today, Jane Fonda is proudly feminist, but even she admits it took her a long time to get there. As a young child, she developed the idea that to be a woman meant you needed to be thin, pretty, and kind. You couldn't be smarter than a man, and being paid less than a man wasn't anything to worry about. Her outlook changed in the 80s when she started taking on feminist roles. She starred in the comedy 9 to 5, which was an early critique of workplace gender discrimination. In 2018, she took up the cause for female domestic and farm workers in the USA, who are often the victims of sexual abuse and extortion. She confronted U.S. lawmakers, challenging them to increase their protections and salaries. Jane Fonda's second marriage ended in heartbreak. Jane's activist leanings led her to participate in a number of anti-Vietnam War rallies, where she met Tom Hayden. The year was 71, and Hayden was an A-list activist. He was a passionate civil rights campaigner and was one of the infamous Chicago Seven. The couple married a few years later and moved to Santa Monica, where they founded the Campaign for Economic Democracy, CED. 
While Hayden was busy running for office, Fonda earned the money to fund his campaigns with movie roles and her now iconic Jane Fonda's workout. The marriage, it seems, was doomed from the start. Hayden was condescending towards Jane Fonda's activism efforts, especially when several of her anti-war protest efforts were ill-perceived by Vietnam vets. On a trip to North Vietnam, rumors abounded that American POWs had been tortured into agreeing to meet with her. In the 80s, Hayden cheated on Fonda with another woman. The couple split in 1988. Despite their relationships and the fact they parented a child together, little Tom Hayden, Fonda gratefully credits her former husband with helping her learn more about movement building, politics, and activism. Fonda felt she wasn't a good mother. Jane has two biological children. Her first husband, Roger Vadim, fathered her daughter, Vanessa. She had her son, Troy Garrity, with her second husband, Tom Hayden. Fonda also has an adopted daughter, Mary Williams, who came to live with her and Hayden when she was 16 after her father was jailed for involvement in the Black Panthers. Fonda has often says she wishes she'd taken her children with her to her activism activities. Instead, she left the child rearing in the hands of Hayden. She told The New Yorker, My son once looked up at me when I was tucking him into bed and said, What's the point of having a mother? Today, she's trying to make up for lost time by spending as much time with her family as possible. Jane gave up her work for her third husband. After her divorce from Tom Hayden, Fonda was already being pursued by potential suitors. This time, it was millionaire Ted Turner, the founder of CNN, who was knocking on her door. He read about her divorce in the media and called to ask her out. They were married a year later. Fonda quickly found out Turner was cheating on her, though. Despite the affront, the couple stayed together, with Fonda giving up acting and her political work to become a glamorous, wealthy socialite. Fonda, however, was unhappy with the role. She left Ted Turner in 2001, telling The New Yorker she felt who she was as a person was disappearing. Jane Fonda mourned the loss of her brother in 2019. Fonda was not always close with her younger brother, Oscar-nominated actor Peter Fonda, though she always loved him for what she says is his sweet, sensitive personality. Lung cancer took Peter from his family in 2019. Jane recalls the time the siblings spent together just before his death as a beautiful time filled with laughter. Jane Fonda has embraced the single life. Fonda dated music producer Richard Perry for a decade before the couple broke it off in 2017. Though they remain friends, she's keen to keep her relationships with men strictly platonic for the foreseeable future. She's happy being single and sees singledom as a way to live up to her feminist ideals. In the years before she met Perry, she embraced the opportunity to, quote, heal the wounds patriarchy had dealt me. It was during this time she became the whole, full-voiced woman she is today. Despite her difficult childhood and many failed marriages, Jane Fonda is now a thriving octogenarian, and she proves you can overcome a tragic past and come out of it stronger than ever before. Do you think Jane made the right decision to stay single, or do you think she needs to find her soulmate? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.